Yeah, another special function on the two auto Kexon DRO in the manual special functions talks about linear drilling and how to carry out linear drilling the parameter it needs the two different modes of drilling you can either drill by length or you can drill in a step mode and they give you a little couple diagrams here again positive angle or specifying as a positive angle your angle is going to be above the line if you specify a negative angle the line is going to come out below the center line okay so here's an example they use in the book we want to drill a hole drill a series of holes in a line 60 millimeters long at a 30 degree angle so and the instructions here let's just say don't match they're not correct besides a couple typos but the way this works is you get into linear mode this button it's always XY okay so we want to check the length mode not the step mode we're gonna do length so we go to length we select length now it asks us what is the length well in the example we want the length to be 60 millimeters we enter that go to the next field we want it to be at a 30 degree angle and we want four holes so just like before we're zeroed in the part I'll show you over here there's zero right there that black dot so we go to the second hole arrow down and we zero our axes Okay, I'll do it once. There's Y. Zero X. number two so you go down and mark that now that hole there's light is washing out so that hole ends up over here that first hole off at a 30 degree angle and we hit down arrow and we go again now notice Y is stepping in 10 millimeters at a time and X is stepping at 17.32 millimeters at a time okay so if we continue those holes out it makes the four lines or the four holes along this line one two three four okay let, let's make a straight line so we just exit out of there Assume I moved it back to zero. It's always X, Y. Now we're going to, instead of length, we're going to select. No, we're going to do a straight line. Length of 60. This time, instead of a 30 degree angle, we'll go zero angle. Still four holes. Okay, so there's my number one hole at zero go down to hole number two and I'm moving my X 20 
Remember that number. So there's my second hole up 20 and then each subsequent hole is 20 away until I get to a length of 60 with four holes. So we can exit out, assume I'm back to zero. Now let's try that negative angle. So we get back into the function. It's always x, y. We're going to go length. My length is 60. Now this time we're going to try a negative 30 degrees. Still four holes. And what we go is zero. There's my zero. We go to the second hole. And now instead of a positive number on my Y, I've got a negative number. So I'm going the other direction. If you plot that out on the part, there's my zero. There's my second hole. I'm up off on my vice, but there's my third hole. And there's the fourth hole. So with a negative, you're off below the line. With a positive angle, you're above the line. Okay, we can exit out any time. Now let's check out the step mode of this line function. Bring up the function. Now we're not going to do length this time. We're going to do step. Need a couple different parameters for step. As in length, we gave it the length of the line and the angle of the line and the number of holes. For step, we need to give it the distance between the two holes and then the angle and the number of holes. So instead of the total line, total line length, we give it the distance between the holes. Okay, so we're still at step function. We want to enter step. Whoop, let's go back up to that. Our step now is going to be 20. And you get that value from your drilling on a zero degree linear line and the length was equal to 20. So you carry that over to step, make the value of step 20. Your next one's the angle, so we're going to go positive 30 degrees. Still four holes. And the number one hole is our center hole. And now when we down arrow to the second hole, you'll notice that the numbers here are the same as they were when we did the linear mode. So that tells you it works and then you can down arrow and it's just adding adding 17.32 to X and 10 to Y each for each hole. Off to the fourth hole you're stepped off to the same hole you were in linear mode. So again, if you come up with something weird, check your direction of your x-axis. If you're going off in the wrong direction, according to the DRO, go into settings, change the direction of your axes, and try it again. You'll end up with better results. Good luck.